Today, on the 29th of July, the church remembers Mary, Martha and Lazarus, who are commemorated as companions of our Lord. The three, two sisters and a brother, lived in Bethany, a village near Jerusalem, and stories about their friendship with Jesus are found in Luke chapter 10 and John chapter 11. Jesus is said to have loved all three and after Lazarus died, he wept and was moved by the sister's grief, after which he brought Lazarus back from the dead so that ultimately the glory of God could be revealed. Much is made often of the contrast between the two sisters. Mary is portrayed as the contemplative one who sat at the feet of Jesus while Martha but busied around cooking and offering practical hospitality. On more than one occasion I have heard ladies in the church chatting with each other and asking themselves are you a Mary or a Martha? With a repast, the church needs both. The brother, Lazarus, appears to be the man of the house. There is no mention of their parents, and as a man, he has different roles to either of his sisters, and therefore a different relationship with Jesus. A relationship that is intensified by being chosen by Jesus to be brought back from the dead. A miracle which would ironically put his life in jeopardy from the Jewish leaders who were not impressed with Jesus. Three people from the same family who through their relationships with Jesus, both individually and together, demonstrated different expressions of friendship. When Jesus weeps alongside Mary and Martha at the tomb of Lazarus, friendship and love has led to his display of compassion. Compassion from Jesus, which over the centuries has sustained and comforted Christians, knowing that when they are feeling overcome by grief, in their own bereavements, Jesus walks alongside them, having experienced those feelings too. As the relationships of Mary, Martha and Lazarus with Jesus help to demonstrate the compassion of Christ, our relationships with him can do the same if we are as bold as them in sharing the love that Jesus has for all of us with our friends, especially with those who are not yet aware of his relationship with them. I'd like to close with this prayer, the collect for Mary, Martha and Lazarus. Let us pray. God our Father, whose son enjoyed the love of his friends, Mary, Martha and Lazarus, in learning, argument and hospitality. May we so rejoice in your love, that the world may come to know the depths of your wisdom, the wonder of your compassion and your power to bring life out of death. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our friend and brother, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.